Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Transport Fever 2. Today's beverage is a nice cup of Earl Grey. In the previous episode, I think we spent the most amount of money we have ever done in one episode. We bought two ships, each of them worth, I think it's 780,000. Let me just check. It is 786,070 generic units of currency, so quite expensive. We got two of those. We then added in loads of vehicles from the iron ore mine as well as the coal mine, bringing it down to the steel mill. We then added in a line going all the way from this new dock up to the steel mill to then have a train running on it, which nearly cost us, I think it was nearly two million. So quite expensive, but it is doing hopefully quite well. Let me just check the line. We can see that actually it is the hmm, CT machines that is currently not transporting anything, although it's docking here, uh, docking, it's coming up to here, and it should take out, yeah, it's taken all of those, and if I pause it for a second, we should be able to see that that is fully loaded with all of that steel, so that's now going to take that steel over to here, which means that has come good, excellent. So in this episode, we want to increase the, or make sure we can deliver the stuff that we are producing, you can see we've currently got loads of these, uh, uh, logs waiting, loads of the uh, the planks, but that's going to increase as time goes on. We will have to take the machines, which we are currently not producing, I don't think. No, we haven't got any production whatsoever, although we might once it goes past and it's going to go and pick up these and then that should start to produce. Then that needs to come down and then we need to make sure it uh, gets dropped off at Earl Shilton because Earl Shilton, I believe, is the only place on the map where we have any requirement for those machines. Nope, not in there. Yep, yeah, there you go, Earl Shilton machines. It's the only place on the planet. Well, or a very small part of it, so that it needs it. So, we want to drop it off, but the problem is that dropping it off will be a bit of a problem. We currently have this thing over on the right there. But all of the machines, as you can see, are around here. So we need to be more in the center. What I'm going to do then is have this more centralized and have that connected there. Four buildings will be removed. I'd rather not. Two buildings removed. You can see we're just missing out on some on the right hand side, you see. Three buildings removed. Four buildings removed. Three buildings. Too expensive. Oh, six buildings removed! That is really expensive. There's only two, but they're large buildings. The other option is... Probably build, put a road in. So that covers most of it. Right, it's expensive. And also... Oh, the bus. And... Why have they put that in there? That is not required. Manage line. Seven. Ah. Okay. It's, it's put it to that rather than that one. That's wrong though. Okay. I need to remove that. What? That didn't work. Um, nothing waiting, yes. And that one, yes, bus. Manage line. How do we remove one of these stations? Um, we'll have to remove that one, and that is not good. So after green lane, add station there and then there. Right, back to normal now. Hmm, that took a little bit of a mess about. So, that's now in. This is coming back with passengers. That's okay. Over here, we have no machines. Oh, is that wood being delivered? It is producing, though. It is producing, if you see there. But I don't think it's transporting it anywhere. This production, it's working. So we need to get in the port and then connect all this up. So roads, streets. Is it just standard street?
That'll do. Like that. Because a port, cargo this time, will go in here. Road depot. Along to there. And along like that. Okay. Just opposite. Truck station. Which goes in there quite nicely. And that means that we can edit the line. So the line for the... Hmm, technically just says... It's not ES wood, it's the planks. That one. So it's planks. Hmm. <laughs> trying to name scheme it because now it's going to a third place. Oh no, it's still Little Shilton. That's fine. Manager line. It's planks and machines. Now, because it's going to add a station there. So it goes from there to the far left, to the middle, to the right. And all the way around. Okay, good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is buy a vehicle. That's a new passenger. The front end. Built in New York at the price of $50,000. Cool. It is a lot quicker than the boat we currently use. And the capacity is higher. So we might go ahead and, we might go ahead and uh, upgrade because that was one of the plans but for now one of these things get that signed planks and machines because well if we go over here loads of stuff waiting excellent there's still wood waiting here yes yeah, so we need one there as well wow okay fair enough but that's now hopefully as far as I can tell that is a full network no production why no production no wood stored right lots of so let's say lots of steel some steel there not bring it's bring about it plastic by the look of it it just automat automatically sets stuff oh here we go this is timing at its absolute finest it's just gonna be Oh, look at the state of that. So that's just dropped off a hundred planks. <clears throat> look at the stock on that. So there's the big... S <laughs> just dropped that off. And one million with ships in a month. Sweet. It's just dropped that off. But it's just missed the uh, timing of it. Brilliant. Can't make this stuff up. Right, what we want to do is, once again, more boat, more better. Buy that. And we'll sign that to the wood line. We want to buy another one. And assign that. Do you mean not enough money? I do have enough money. Oh, apparently, apparently that's a that's a no for me. Um <laughs> need to add more board. More board. Nowhere near enough money for the board now for some reason. Because we want at least we've got three boards here. Ships. We've got three here. And to be fair, we probably want to replace that one, don't we? If I just replace that. Because there's still loads waiting. But we need at least another one going from there. And over to the left and then back to Earl Shilton. So I'll add another one of those. But it's a, a money thing. A little bit more. A little bit more. Bye. Right, planks and machines. Putting a lot of money into something that's untested. But there you are. At least, though... No, it's carrying nothing. That's ah, because it's come here first, that's all. Is this bringing... No, it's still not bringing any of that. I'm guessing because it's not even... Yeah, it's got no wood. So there's planks waiting here at the annex. It's going to load that up. We might have to increase the size of that, you know. We may just have to do that. But this is going to drop stuff off there, the machines factory, and guarantee that the production will ramp up to 
very high levels because we've already got 132 iron just sitting there which is what we like to see well actually no we don't like to see what we like to see is lots of production and lots of transport but i'll settle for at least having the resources that we need in order to produce stuff uh, there's a say level crossing what was yeah, it's just a crossing and that stops drops that off production will increase there you go and we will start to get stuff produced machines consumption is wrapping up ramp wrapping up ramping up and wow that's almost you know the planks we need more uh, condition of train one is very poor yes i know but that's something we we're going to replace anyway at least there's been stuff produced i'm hoping that this changes because there's a steel on the back of that that's going to stop there Please change to machines. No. No shipment. Hmm. I can carry all manner of stuff, so that's fine. Double check the line. Uh, Bank some machines, yeah. I guess maybe because we don't have any stuff transporting that there that could be it there to there and that is Earl Shilton machines we will get some new vehicles uh the time being four just as a proof of concept we can always always increase that so that should be the full route now done should be but as you can see oh yeah that's not profitable um same as this one although this should change should change eventually now that everything's on the go ash there you go shipment we have got shipment now that's all it was. It was trying to calculate the path, but it, it, yes, technically there to there is closer to the destination, but it couldn't go any further. So adding those in means that it would be shipped to the right place. Now it's working. Excellent. That is refreshing to see when things work. Right, we are going to go over to our vehicle manager. And we're going to check CT to EL train. Because that train is garbage. We're going to replace that vehicle. We're going to replace it with that one. Uh, that one's got more tractive power, but it's not as fast. So we're going to add that one. And we want some better cars. What have we got for passengers? Let's change it over to passenger. Bavarian passenger car and a compartment car. 44 capacity. 66 capacity. Do we need that much? Um, 3 million? 3 million. Okay, maybe we don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to double check to see. There's only 33 people there. But I guess it's just a case of. Probably just a case of um, not having enough stuff in the first place. Maybe that'll ramp up. We can see that we've got wood there 28 on here we have the machines so the machines are working this is obviously not load balanced at all we haven't went through and checked out to see where the shortcomings are looks like it's the wood but with this ramping up i mean we've probably got i couldn't calculate it exactly but we've got a huge lead time because essentially we're bringing resources from the other side of the map and it'll probably take uh, in in terms of in-game uh days probably take six months to get from there to there if not longer so that's why we've got this uh we've got this sort of delay that the two ships that we've recently bought they're only just starting to come good <laughs> like this one there that one's that ship eight it's never transported anything so it's just coming back to here this one however ship six yeah good 
And, oh my. That is... There's a lot of planks there. Destinations, 28. But how many are actually... Ooh, that's a... That's like a building a bit. No, don't need to do that. So how many is waiting there? Don't know, a lot. A lot is the uh, question. That is the answer, rather. With all these coming along, yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, um... This train, then. This train. Train one. Manage. Place. We want to be... All locomotives. And I think it's that one, isn't it, that we have? The Borsig. And there's... Oh! The PLM 220. And a DMG. Canstat. Oh, there it is. PLM 220. Very futuristic. Big C is pioneer of aerodynamic locomotives. It also is hideously expensive at 1.6 million each. Look at the tractive power, though. Uh, tractive effort, 75 kilonewtons. Power, 450 kilowatts. Okay, so it is double the power of the next most powerful locomotive and another 50% more tractive effort and... Uh, 10 kilometers an hour faster. That's why it's so expensive. Uh, we'd pay probably a bleeding edge <laughs> uh, sum to have that. So, oh, you see that we've only got the comp compartment car now. That's because it doesn't allow you to build the older stuff, I think, after a certain point. Uh, that you see this, the build date. So, we're currently on um, 1890. So, the other stuff. Just gone. You just, just can't have it. We're going to have this as 44 capacity for now. We may uh, change that. I'm not going to get the most modern locomotive because, quite frankly, I don't think it's worth it. So I've said replace. Now, I don't think it's replaced automatically. Let me just go ahead and zoom in. And no, it is replaced automatically. I thought it would have to go to the, uh, to the depot. But apparently not. But that's our train there. That's good. So that is, I'm going to guess, a lot faster. Or will be a lot faster. So that is good. We can see that we have this coming down. Lots of stuff on that. That train needs to be expanded upon. In fact, we probably need to expand the, the annex. Probably need to make it longer. Um, can we do that? Configure. We probably can. The platform... Uh, yes, it is It is possible for us to expand the platform to make it uh, make the train longer. But I don't think we need to do that just yet. That's a lot of 180. I'm guessing a lot of that will be uh, degrading. And, oh, 24 machines there. Right, excellent. So, check the line manager. There's only ES machines that is in negative. But, if you see there, 5 out of 5. 10 out of... Uh, there we go. So, we must have had a delivery. There's our first delivery of machines. Going off to here. That should hopefully, then... Was Earl Shilton to grow because we're now supplying bread as well as the machines. Excellent. Right. Long overdue. Let's go over to lines. And we want to go for road. No. Buses. And, ah, the lawn deer is available. Let's go to. Earl Shilton bus. Lots of... Ah, sorry. My mistake. Um, vehicle manager. We'll make that bigger. Buses. Show road lines. I want to show road lines and depots. And that's it. And that's train. Am I missing something? <laughs> ah, it's now gone. This is fine. Uh, so, the Earl Shilton bus route, all these vehicles, we know that they're terrible. Select them all, placing them all with. So, what's that? The 
The Daimler Motor Company was a German engine and late automobile manufacturer that operated between 1890 and 1926. All types of cargo, diesel powered, emissions is 73. As opposed to that, ah, the Londres was actually a motor driven coach built by the Bentz Company. It was the first bus in the world to be used on the Sagan Nefton Dias route. Said all that wrong, but there you go. An attempt was made. Um, well, it does clearly say it. Uh, first bus in the world. Well, we are doing buses. 19, and it goes up to 1942. And the emissions are a little bit higher. But also the capacity is 6. Whereas currently, we have capacity 4. So what I want to do is I want to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Fourteen vehicles. Why am I counting? One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah. Um, sell those four. Right. So we're down to ten. Then we'll replace those vehicles with that. Okay. Done. Let's go over to the other bus routes over here. That is working fine. Place to that. Done. EL bus, same again. Place that. Hang on. Yeah, I only clicked on the first vehicle. <laughs> I clicked on that one. I was wondering why did that only cost that amount of money? Because you're an idiot. Um, and this one. So there's all the buses done. Let's go over to the food which is in need of some replacement what do we have currently it's that Hang on, let me check this vehicle very bad condition emission 71 Ooh. and we can place it to that but anything we replace it ah anything we replace it with is either going to have the base emissions of 61 or more emissions as standard. So even though the condition is very bad, there's no need to, re well, there's no point in replacing them at this point. That's my reading of it anyway. Probably wrong calculation, but there you are. Anyway, in terms of money, ooh, balance. Look at the value of the company skyrocketing. However, balance, finances, repair, repair, repair. We are paying back all of that loan as well, as much as we can. Down to three million. Down to two and a half million. And paying that off is, I think, the way to go. Let's check the line manager. Most things in profit. Unsurprisingly, the long line here, not very profitable at all. In fact... <laughs> It's a uh, minus uh, over 300,000. So it's not that it's it's not about profit. It's just terrible. <laughs> it's just garbage. Um, it may come good in the end. We'll have to, like I say, uh, keep an eye on the the moment to moment of it and also uh, balance the load a bit better because at the moment it's a bit terrible. Um, this ship, I want to re manage that vehicle and I want to replace it with this same one of those. It will cost a bit of money, but I think it is better. There we go. That is fine. Our balance is... There we go, repair that. So we're now down to 2 million. Yes, I know there's poor condition of the vehicles and... Oh. Well, that crashed. That's what we would class as suboptimal. Right, I think we'll leave it there. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to load up the auto save whenever that was and hopefully everything isn't broken anyway next episode we'll go ahead and continue on probably replacing some vehicles but also adding in some new routes now that, that big route is sorted we'll have to look at other things to transport but it's going to depend on where it is and when it is and obviously we'll have to keep an eye on that big line that we've just done in order to uh, manage the uh, manage the things on it much better and it's probably going to revolve around that train i believe but we'll see how we get on as always if you haven't shared the video on the series of so far thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings